Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, my name is Angie and along with my beautiful family, we're sharing our memories with you. Now, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, something like that, I did all these different gift basket ideas. Um, I was doing them for a raffle for girl guides, but thought I'd share them because they were great ideas to put together gradually for Christmas. Anyway, in our gardening one, we had a macrame pot plant holder. And I did say I was gonna share a video of me making one, and I'm sorry it's taken me so long, but here we are, I'm gonna show you how to make one, easiest, easiest way. It's pretty much one knot and half of that knot. And that's the, uh, oh, actually two knots, sorry. So there's two knots, one a binding knot, and the other one is the knot that we actually make the patterns with, which is a full knot and a half knot, okay? So you need some macrame string. I actually got this from my lo local discount shop and I really like the color pink, isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous, hey? Um, but there was bucket loads of clay and, and Spotlight, Lincraft, anything in the States, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, they would all have this sort of stuff. Okay, so what I'm using for my ring is a curtain hook. Now I could not find any um, wooden circles like this, and I know you can get them in this size, but I couldn't find any that big in my local shop. So I just took the, the hook bit that you hang your curtains on, I um, took that out and it becomes a ring. So, and I just try and put that little dot underneath the knot, so that way you don't see it. So, okay, so you need that. You need a pot. Now this pot was purchased from Bunnings. I think from memory it was 99 cents and there was lots of different colors. Perfect for our macrame. I have got two pet brushes. Now this is for the bottom. You can just use a comb if you choose to. Um, I found that the comb, because it was plastic, it wasn't pulling through and they were breaking off. So first thing I tried this, and this does get a lot of the knots out, and this is for like fine tuning at the end. They were both about four or five dollars, so weren't that expensive. Oops, sorry. And of course, a pair of scissors. We need scissors. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our macrame rope. Now we need, and I'm not really good at judging so, um, measurements, I think it's about three to four meters, but what I do, find my end, I do uh, um, arms width. So one, two, and three, and then that would be one. And we need six of these, so then I use that to measure. So I just measure it along, cut. Two. Now it really depends whether you want to do um, three or four, um, I guess you could say arms coming down. So it really depends how much. If you want to do four arms, you will need eight of these. So we're only doing six. One, two, three, four. Doesn't really matter, it's all exactly the same process. It's gonna get tangled up. All right, what are we up to now? All right, we've got one, two, three, last one. It's easy just to put your macrame rope roll onto the floor because then it will just roll for you. Okay, so we've got six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to get our ring and we're going to put... Well, we don't throw our ring around. Okay, so get your ring and we're going to thread those through there. And we're going to bring them down until our ends are the same. Sometimes it's just easy just to tip the ring upside down until oh, you work out approximately where they're joined together and then you can bring your ring back up. So like I said I put my dot down so I'm just making sure my dot is underneath my macrame. Okay and just straighten them out so they're flat at the top. Then we're going to get 
another piece. It doesn't really matter how long, it's up to you. Um, I think my piece that I've chosen is probably about 60 centimetres. It doesn't need to be that long because you'll end up losing it. It's probably a waste. But, And I'm going to show you how to do this first knot. Now, I don't know what it's actually called, but I just call it a tie-off knot. But, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you down so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. So, we've got our rope there. It's nice and smooth at the top. So I'm going to put one piece there. So I'm just going to leave that there and I'm going to hold that with my thumb. Then I'm going to do a loop. Can you see the loop? Okay, so above, so then I'm going to move my hand down a little bit. And I'm going to put my thumb pretty close to the, thing, the ring. And then I'm going to start winding it. I'm going to start right up against the ring. And I'm going to pull that as tight as I possibly can. This is going to tie it all together and hold that on there. When you get down to the bottom where you've only got a little bit left, we're going to put that through the loop. Then we're going to hold that bit and let go of the loop. This bit here it has its purpose. We're going to pull that through. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. And it's going to pull that underneath your knot. Or not your knot, you're underneath your ropes that you've just twirled. We're going to cut that off. I'm just going to give it a little bit more tug. Now this little tug is actually going to pull that little bit under there just to make it a little bit tidier. And then we're just going to trim that off. And with that trim, we can see it a little bit there. So we're just going to try and poke that through under there so it can't be seen. Okay, now you have the start of your macrame. So we're going to start transfer ourselves over to the rack. Okay, so we have it here and what I'm going to do is find the four pieces that will flow nicely when they're coming out of here as an arm. So I'm going to get four here, I've got four there and I'm just going to tuck them over the back because I don't need them just yet and then I have four there that come together and we'll just tuck them over the back. So these are the four that we're going to work with. Our first two in the middle and these are going to be our working ones on the outside. I'm not, I can't honestly remember what this knot's called, but I, when I teach it, I say make a number four. You see that number four? Okay, so make a number four. You see that so it looks like a number four. And then we're going to go over the top to make the, the line of the number four and then tuck it through the center of the number four. And then bring it up. Now, if you're having issues, you can stand on these middle ones to make them taut. And so this one is going to be what we call the half knot. This is going to cause a spiral shape. So we're going to keep going. As we go, we are going to see a spiral shape come out. Now generally I'll go through and I'll do the top bit of this and then I'll come back and do the top bit of that and then I will move down but I think for the purpose of this video we'll just do the whole length of one and then we'll come back and do the other ones. So I'm quite happy with that length there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down further. So I'm going to move you down with me. Alright, so we've got that here and that's going to flow quite nicely. So we are going to move down probably... Hmm, maybe two inches which is approximately five ten centimeters Approx and I say approximate because it on this first one it does not matter so we've done our knot like we did up the top now we're going to just swap it over and we're going to do a backwards number four so we'll just get this in place and then I'll show you in detail so right we're going to go forwards like we did at the top and instead of going the opposite direction uh, same direction we are going to go a backwards number four. So I like you writing it backwards. Same process, make your line and tuck it through the center of the number four. 
the center things, just ensure that they stay straight. If you get lost on which side you're doing, see, I don't know if you can see this, but see how there's a, a line there? That actually works out where your line of your stem is. So for this one, I can tell that that was a number four because this is where my line is, so that's where that is. So I know that I am now up to this one because that line will now come on this side. See how it's there? Okay, we'll do a couple more and then we'll, I'll stop the video, I'll do the other sides and then I'll come and show you how to link it all up. Okay, I think that'll do. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to get onto this one and this one and get them done and then I'll come back and show you how to join the bottoms together. So now I've got all three done and it's time to join them. Now just to note, Doing the first one is fine, but you need to make sure that each bit, if you can see that bit, hang on, bring it down. How, when you make the next one, that it's stopping at the same spot. And the same with this bit, that it starts at the same, sorry, my hands are in the way. That they all start at the same spot, so they're even, and they all finish at the same spot. Okay, that's really important, otherwise it's gonna look a bit dodgy. All right, okay, so now we need to go down and see how far down and how long basically we want our pot to be now i'm thinking i'm going to do this pot hanger probably i want it down here so i'm going to do my joins uh, probably about 20 centimeters down 20 centimeters is how many inches two four no. <laughs> i can't do my mathematics Four is five centimeters, uh, two is five centimeters, so four is ten, so eight, eight inches. There you go, worked it out for you, my American friends. Okay, so we're going to do exactly what we did here, but instead of doing it on here, we're going to take two strings, oops, sorry, two strings from this one, and two strings from this one, and they are going to join together. So we'll just move everybody else out of the way for now. Oh. Them up there out of the way. Okay, so then we're going to find our two middle ones just like we did before. We're going to come down to where we want it and we'll make our number four. And this one we're going to do exactly the same knot that we did up here. So it's a forwards and a backwards. So we're going to go there. Then we're going to go backwards number four. I just realised how bad my nail polish was. Sorry guys. Okay. And that's all we're going to do. We're just, uh, no, we'll just do one. Just doing one knot on there. So then we're going to go to the next side. I'm going to move around. I'm going to take those extra two that we had on there. And we're going to take two from this one. And you just need to check how best it will hang. Because of our twist, it, it does make it a little bit tricky. So just have a look at it. How do you think it's going to hang up there? and move your ropes to that side we're going to make sure that we are even again and then we're going to do a backwards number four okay that one's done and then we'll just turn our ring around that's why i love using this thing because i can just move things where i want okay so that's there that's together where are my two bits that aren't together I'm finding my two and my last bit. Measuring up, make sure I've got it the same distance. And let's knot it up. Okay, so now we've got these two are joined, these two are joined, and these two are joined. Okay. Now you could leave it there or you can do extra so I'm just going to do some extras today just to keep showing you the steps I'm taking two from that one two from that one and this time I'm actually only going to go might just go two inches just to give it a little bit more detail approximately two inches five centimeters and another number four getting really low here aren't I <laughs> okay so I've got that one done 
make sure everything's straight. Okay, to the next one. So I've got two from here. Where's my next one? And two from here. Now two inches. I'm going to measure it up so it's the same. What's happened here? With number four, create the knot. Okay, so then I'm going to turn this around and I have one more to do. So I've got that one's going that way, that one is, should all start be starting to sit where they need to be because we've already sorted that out with the join before. Okay, so then we've got that one. And a backward number four, and they're all about the same size. All right, so we've got that far. Now it's time to find our pot. Our pot in. Okay, we've got a pot sitting in there. We've got a pot, sit pot sitting in there. We can see our knots. We can actually bring it up a little bit, I think, so that our knots are divided. And then we're just going to gather it underneath. I'm just going to try and make sure in my gather that my ropes are straight and I'm just going to gather it in my fist where approximately I would like it to sit. So I've got that there. Can you see how I've got it? Right, now I've got all this rope here. Let me go with a pair of scissors. So I'm going to chop it off because we don't want this stuff. And as I said, it's really entirely up to you. Better scissors. <laughs> um, we could have probably made some of our knots longer, but I'm happy with that way they are. Okay, so now we're going to do the same down here as we did right at the top. So I'm just going to take my bowl out because I just find it easier to do in my hand like this. Do my loop and I'm going to start winding. Now, this time I do not have the ring to push up against. So it's wherever I want to start my knot is where I start my knot. Pulling it tight as I go. Again, this will hold everything together. And you can make this as long as you like. I'm thinking that's long enough for me. Pull it through the loop. And where's my string? Oh, I lost my top bit. I did. Where is it? Found it. It got lost in the monks. Pull that. And we'll pull it through. Up it goes. Give it a trim. And just pull it a little bit so that goes in. And then I'm going to trim here. And just push that in a little bit with my scissors. Okay. All right. I'm going to put our pot back in so you can see where it's sitting there we go so that's sitting in there lovely and now we need to work on this so for that purpose we're going to remove our pot again come over here okay so now I need to judge how long do I want my tassel at the end that is entirely up to you. Now there's different ways you can finish it off. I have seen ones where you just put a knot in and just leave it like that. But I prefer personally to brush mine out. So what I need to do to do that is I need to untwist. I need to untwist it all. All of it. One, two, that's three. And then I'm going to continue to untwist every single one of them. Okay. So therefore, I have all of these detangled now. 
some of them are still a little bit tangled at the top so you just got to be aware of that and this is where my pet brushes come in so I'm just going to grab one of those sip on that one okay so I'm going to use the metal side of this one to brush it out this will help get most of the big knots out and the big joints and then I will use the other one which is a finer tooth comb and I can see one here that hasn't untwisted properly and work my way down. And I just flip the sides every now and again just to help. I've got a problem here. I can see where one hasn't completely untwisted. And it's causing the knots. There we go. So I'm going to go back to this one again. So I can get those knots brushed out, stop brushing your hair. And go back with this one again. So I know I look, I'm already there. I'll flip it. Alright, I'm already good to halfway. keep fighting with this but I think that's actually a really good length so I'm going to chop that off and I'm not going to worry about fighting toward to the end of how long that rope is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off and hold it as still as I can and then I'm going to just brush that through See how I'm all the way through it. I'm going to fluff on myself on my comb. So let's just brush that off. Okay, now I've got that through, but you can see that it's not like it's not got a nice finish on the end. So I'm going to trim that off again. And just so you know, a Decent pair of scissors really helps. These ones are not the best, so I'm not going to get the smoothest um, end, which is disappointing, but I can find my other scissors. I will find them at some point. Okay. I'm going to fluff off and I'll brush that out. Alright. I'm going to hang that up there and I'm going to get the camera and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So there's the bottom. I'm going to move up into our knots into our ring. I'll come all the way back here. Oh. And you can see the whole lot. And this is bedroom. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you can um, understand the different steps that I've done. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to ask any questions that you have. And if you need more definition on diff the different knots, let me know and I can do another video um, doing that. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.